Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style using National Mahjong League rules. If you haven't learned how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Just look for the words show more and click on that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these videos where I share some strategies and maybe you can pick up on some insights into the game that may give you an advantage at the table. Let's do some Charleston modeling. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. We're gonna say that we're the dealer for these. So I'm gonna take 14 tiles And then I'm going to create a mock Charleston. Right across left, left across right. We're good to go. Let's see what we have to work with for this first Charleston modeling. Flower. <clears throat> East, green, singles. Here's the multiples. Five and nine. I think, oh, there's an eight. Either six, seven, eight, nine, and the fives will be joker bait, or five, seven, nine. Odds, big odds. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven towards big odds. If we play six, seven, eight, nine, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're even. Let's just not make a decision and pass those three. Although we could use that one and play the one, three, five, five, seven, nine, and two suits, the concealed hand. Let's give up on the six. That way we don't have to really pick a hand yet. Okay, here we go. We got a flower and a nine crack. This is what I'm thinking. One, three, five, five, seven, nine. I'm thinking we should probably play big odds, but we have to make a choice already because we have a pair of flowers and a pair, and I'm not passing a pair, nor am I gonna pass a flower. It's just really risky. Let's see, what about if we play, let's, oh, like numbers. I don't wanna pass like numbers either. Okay, so if we play um, five, seven, seven, nine, we could use this for maybe joker bait. Okay, let's do, oh shoot, look at, we got like numbers here. Five, seven, five, seven, nine, we still could do one, three, five, five, seven, nine. Let's give up on the seven crack. That way we're not passing like numbers or a flower and we have options in the odds category. Hopefully we'll get a deciding tile. Okay, now we have a pung of flowers. A pung of flowers. What about, what about if we play maybe like numbers with fives or nines. Nine, four, one, three, lucky 13. I think I gave up a tile in there. Okay, so let's, let's pass these three and try to leverage these flowers. Okay, we have a red. Let's let's hold the one. Maybe we could do a lucky 13. Let's pass these three. Okay, so we got a four and a one. We could play lucky 13 here, mix suits. Let's hold the four in case we get a one crack or a three crack. 
and let's break up that multiple of the five and pass these three. There's a three. And we can pass east, west five. That's a little bit risky. I think this two is a bit stronger. Nine, four, three. We need the one crack. I think I passed it. Let's pass these three. Those are discards. Good for optional cross. Passing three for optional cross. Maybe we'll get that one crack back. No, we didn't, but we're, well, five away. That's, that's a bummer, but we've got a pung of flowers that can be conged. We need a one crack for the one three. If we get a four crack or a joker, we'll be set. We can cong the nine, need that four crack or joker, and then pung the flower or Kong the flowers then all we're waiting on would be a one crack so I don't think that was too bad I'd rather be left with less than four tiles at the end of the Charleston but there's no gaps here we've got the one three at least part of it and then we have four nine so there's no gaps which is a good thing okay let's do it again Okay, here we go. 14 random tiles. Right across left, left across right. Okay, let's see what we can do with this random pull. Oh, we got jokers this time. That's kind of nice. All right, multiples. We have a multiple of jokers. Six, seven. So whatever we do, we're gonna build around six, seven. What about six, uh, five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight with opposite dragons? This would be the last hand under consecutive run. We could maybe even do lucky 13 with the six, seven. Of course we have a gap, no one, three, but that's okay. All right, <clears throat> let's pass one of each suit. Okay, here we go. We got a six. Maybe we could do something consecutive with fives and sixes. Let's, oh, there's a white dragon. Oh, we need that for the five, six, seven. Oh yeah, this now is coming in. Five, six, seven or six, seven, eight with opposite dragons. Let's pass these three. Okay, now there's a six, east three. We don't need east three for sure. I still think building around the multiples, we should break that up and stick with it. Build around the most of your multiples. In this case, a six crack and seven crack. Oh, there's an eight crack. We don't need the five anymore. So let's go ahead and pass these three. Oh, there's a one. Did I just pass a three crack? We could do lucky 13, seven, six, one, three. Let's pass these three. Oh, green dragon, nice. I think that consecutive hand is better for sure. Six, seven, eight dragons. Let's pass these three. It's good to keep your options open, but eventually you're gonna see the path to follow. Okay, we have three tiles for the optional cross. Okay, we've got discards, but we're three tiles away from being ready on a concealed hand. So we can use these here to help with the, the dragons. We need to pung the six. This is ready. Pung the eight. Draw in the dragons. 
three away. I think that was pretty successful. This is where I like to land after the Charleston. Three discards. Let's see here. And really, after East, we're East, so we would have to discard to get started. So really, we're two away after getting rid of that first tile to get the game started. So we're two discards from being ready on this particular hand. So that was a really good Charleston. Let's do it one more time. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see what we can do with this last one. Building around multiples. East, West, Twos. East and West go with evens. Look at all those discards. We need to pick out some options. Let's keep, since we're keeping wins, let's keep the dragon. Maybe we could even play a quint. Let's go ahead and discard one of each suit. Nine, one, eight. Let's make that even better because look what we're left with, like numbers. Let's swap out the one for the five. That way we have a good pass lined up. Pick tiles for your pass that leave tiles for the next pass. That way you're set up for success. Hopefully. Oh, we got a green. That might help, maybe. All right, now let's do one of each suit. Oh, we got another multiple here though. Anytime you get a new multiple, reassess. Let's hold it. Because if we play a quint, we want options. And here we have one of each suit. Let's pass those. All right, now we have a flower and a four and a six. So we have to choose. I'm thinking we should give up the north. That way we can still potentially play a quint and we can still play east and west with twos. So let's get these, give these three up. Okay, here we have three, six, seven. Let's pass those. It's a little risky with that three and six because of the three, six, nine category. Oh shoot, look at that. Another three crack. All right, well, we're holding evens though. And I saw fours coming and going. I think I'm gonna stick with it though. Exchange the joker. Here's a five. At this point, I'm thinking we should switch to a quint. We have a pung of five, west, and options with our green. This can be joker bait. Let's pass these three. It's a little bit risky because of the two, four, six, eight category, but we're playing a quint. Okay, there's a white and here's an east. <laughs> now that we gave up the two, east and west with twos, and we have fives. I'm thinking as an option, we should hold the fives, this one, because we could switch to like numbers also. Let's give up on, let's pass two. That way we can still play potentially like numbers or we can play a quint and I am not passing a pair. Let's pass two, one blind. So we have discards, three discards. And we're in between like numbers with the dragon right here, like numbers or a quint. And we can use the dragons for options. So I think that was an okay Charleston. We are between five, maybe five discards, I think, which is not too bad if you're playing a big hand like a quint. Let me know what you think about Charleston modeling for National Mahjong League rules. Write it in the comment section. I'd really love your feedback. And if you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. 
and then let me know your results. I would think it would improve your game if you practice this decision making. It'll certainly take the pressure off of finding your path when you're playing in the Charleston at a minimum. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and click that bell. If you do subscribe, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. I wouldn't want you to miss out on any opportunities to learn a new game or maybe pick up on a strategy that you're not aware of or gain an insight into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American style using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.